Hi, this is Masti Badi for HAP 501 at George Mason University. And I'd like to show you how to use Excel uh, to conduct a two sample t test. So, for our example, we're trying to see if a certain kind of treatment, let's say a piece of candy, uh, reduces stress levels on children before they undergo the finger prick procedure. Uh, in order to measure the stress level, we've uh, calculated the pulse, pul pul sorry, pulse rate um, of 20 uh, children, and we randomly assign them to a, a treatment and a control group. So 10 of the children will receive uh, the treatment, and 10 will not, and then we will measure the pulse rate uh, of all of them. Uh, here I've entered the data for the for group one and group two, the control group and the treatment group, and we want to see if there's a difference between the stress levels of the two groups. In other words, we want to see if our treatment was eff effective. Uh, now we can use the t-test because our dependent variable, the pulse rate, is a interval ratio level variable, and our independent variable, uh, whether treatment was uh, available or existed or not is uh, only two categories. So we only have, you know, the two possibilities: treatment was administered and it wasn't. So it's appropriate to use a, a two-sample t-test. And as our two samples are independent, uh, they don't overlap in any way. They don't. They're not related to each other in any way. Uh, we can use the two-sample independent t-test. Uh, now, how to use Excel to conduct a two-sample independent t-test? Uh, it's very easy. We go under Tools, choose Data Analysis, look for the t-test two-sample, and in this case, we are assuming unequal variances because we have no idea about the variances in the two groups, and our samples aren't large enough to assume that uh, we can um, substitute sample variance for population variance. So we choose the two sample assuming unequal variances t-test. Say OK. Ask for values. This is your first group. Variables in range 1. And variables in range 2, the second group. Um, again, for the hypothesis mean difference, you can put 0, or if you don't, Excel assumes that it's the value is zero, and that's what we're interested in. We're interested in knowing whether the two uh, means are equal or not. So we, I'm just going to leave it. And I had picked the labels, so I'll give it labels. Our alpha is 0 0.05. Uh, that's fine. We don't want to change that. I'll choose an output range here and say OK. And here we go. Excel has produced the t-test for two sample assuming unequal variance. It's calculated the mean, the variances of the two samples, number of observations, hypothesized mean difference is 0, degrees of freedom is 18, because we had uh, two samples of 10. So it's n1 plus n2 minus 2. The calculated test statistics is minus uh, 1.84. And our, we were interested in a two-tail test, uh, so our critical t for two-tail is uh, 2.10. And as you can see, because the absolute value of 2.10 is greater uh, than the absolute value of 1.84, or in other words, 1.84 is uh, less than negative uh, um, to 2.1, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. We can also look at the p-value for our two-tail test. Uh, 0 0.08 is uh, greater than 0 0.05. So also based on the p-value for a two-tail test, we reject, we fail to reject the null hypothesis, I'm sorry, uh, that there's a difference that our treatment was effective. Now, if we had chosen a one-tail test, if we were only interested to see if the st stress levels were reduced because of our treatment, um, then we would have had a result that, uh, based on this, could not we couldn't uh, 
we had to reject the null hypothesis, I'm sorry. So if we had chosen a one-tail test because uh, the absolute value of 1.84 is greater than 1.73, or also because the p-value of 0 0.04 is less than 0 0.05, then we would fail to uh, Re oh, I'm sorry, we would have to reject the null hypothesis and assume uh, that uh, the alternative hypothesis that the treatment was effective. Um, I'm mentioning this just because I think it's important to pay attention uh, to your design, uh, to designing your research and exactly what you're interested in. Whether we were interested in uh, seeing if there was a difference between the two groups or whether we were interested in actually finding out whether our uh, treatment reduced stress levels. Uh, and based on that, we, we should have paid attention to whether we chose a one-tail or a two-tail test. Anyway, the purpose of this tutorial was to show you how to use Excel to uh, generate a two-sample t-test uh, assuming unequal variances.